Hi, we're back again. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of baking. The apple crumble last time out was a success. However, they requested to have rhubarb in said crumble. So we will make another one with rhubarb in this time. Um, slightly different recipe, I think. It's on the woman's, on the woman's website. Where's this one from? Women's Weekly Food website. Um, so we're going to go with that. Get all the bits and pieces out. So we need some flour, just plain flour. I think I've got a. Oh, quite a bit of sugar. Sure that. Yeah, big bag of things up here. So, oh my gosh, the boys have been baking. I made some cinnamon rolls the other day, and I don't know what he's done, but the flour bag is covered in wet flour. So, have flour. What else did we need? Uh, butter, brown sugar, coconut. Coconut, brown sugar. Sugar, coconut. Uh, what else we need? Mm, butter. Butter. What else we got here? Uh, oats and cinnamon. So I've gone with apples, it say? adorable apples. They're green apples, um, but the odd bunch from Woolies. So they're super cheap because they're all different sizes. It's a normal Australian rhubarb. Uh, what else do we want from there? Water and just regular sugar. All right, you want sugar? So we're going to get, we'll put the oven on at 180. Had a rent inspection this morning, so everything's sparkly clean. There's no major dramas either, so that makes me a happy person. All right, so first of all, we need to get those apples peeled and cored. Okay, dropping two on the other. And a knife. week cleaning it's also been the little one's birthday so getting stuff ready for that it's been a busy week we got his birthday party tomorrow which will be fun I'm just trying to dodge covid and there's been a few cases at school and, and neighbors and so okay if anybody gets it next week but Everybody really trying to keep clean this week so we can actually go. We lived with it for three years in Germany and managed to stay away from it, but now the borders are open here in WA. I'm uh, saying they were at a peak, so it shouldn't get too much worse. So Kai's been getting into his cooking, so he made um, cinnamon rolls the other night. 
And at school, he made some um, simple subs, which he was really impressed with. They look pretty tasty. One day, he'd make me dinner. He's one of those apple peeling machines that he's got. Especially these little ones are quite fiddly. They're very juicy though. Which are good for when they get in the pot. Actually quite like rhubarb raw. Mum used to give it to us with a bag of sugar. And just raw, raw rhubarb. And dip the rhubarb in the sugar, and uh, it's like a candy stick, you know, like those dip dabs they used to get. Very tasty. I should snack on that actually while I'm doing this. It's kind of sweet and sour almost, I guess. up and chuck them in a the pot and just boil them up a little bit and soften them up so that it doesn't take too long when they're baking the, the crumble. It's coming into fall here in Australia so I'm looking forward to a little more kind of pudding and dessert baking and to do more roasts. It's really hard to eat a roast when it's 40 degrees outside, let alone cook it in the kitchen. So I used to have a, usually a roast a week in Germany. It's just too hot here for that kind of rubbish. And the boys will be too happy about it though. I mean, more vegetables to eat. They're probably more likely to eat roast vegetables than anything else. One more, and then that's the apples peeled. We'll just trim them up. And I think we can put them straight into a pot. Yeah. Does anybody know anything good to do with apple peel? Yeah, I can put it outside for the crows. Little surely. All right, it's done. I'm gonna get a pot. It's not gonna be much on here once you've cored these apples. because you know, kids like they can go halfway through an apple and can't be bothered eating the rest. There's these little ones that they tend to eat them all. There we go. about winter coming. I think the clocks go back in there soon as well. Back, no, spring forward because it's spring, isn't it? Spring forward in the UK. Hopefully, that will help with the um, time zones of work and stuff. Go. I thought about going to the beach for a swim. To the rent inspection this morning, but just have to pop in and get a birthday cake for the party tomorrow. I had some lunch and oh, I'll just do some baking instead. The weather's meant to turn over the weekend. There was uh, an ex cyclone coming down. I think it's going to head back up north. Cancelled all the warnings. I don't know what it's going to do to the beach. I went down there 
last week when it was really windy and there's loads of seaweed in the water and it's just ugh, disgusting touching you as you're swimming and stuff. Hopefully next week there's no seaweed and I can get back in the water. Through these apples. You can boil those for five minutes and then put the rhubarb in and boil. Boil that for about five minutes. And then we will make, while that's all boiling up, we will make the crumble. So that when it's finished boiling, we can just chuck it all in there in the pot and uh, cook it for 30 minutes or so. Next Friday, Friday is takeaway night, so <coughs> I won't need to do any cooking. We got pizza or something. It's funny, the little friend's birthday yesterday, generally we, we go out for meal, but he was having to isolate because he was a contact for COVID. It's just a negative, but that's so that's quite like isolate. Um, so I said, you can have anything you want for your birthday dinner. And rather than ordering in something, you wanted quesadillas. So I ended up making just quesadillas for his birthday dinner. Worked for me because it was nice and easy. Um, but yeah, it's different from him asking for McDonald's or KFC or Subway or something. It's kind of cool. All right, that's up all. There we go. We'll just clear this off into bin. Right, now the rhubarb. You don't have to peel this, do you? Just, let's, let me get this. Cook that. Get it boiling. Good. Right, just chop the ends off. Grow rhubarb. Got some pots outside. Maybe I could grow some rhubarb. That'd be cool. And cut off the other ends. I don't think you have to peel this right. You just you can just chop it up. All right. Let me chop this up. So I said three centimeter section. those apples come to the boil we've got a few minutes so we'll start on making the crumble let's go to the back alrighty so we want um, flour and butter together into breadcrumbs so we want half a cup of flour half a cup Let's look at the I'm making his cinnamon buns. And they were delicious. And to be fair, he did clean up after himself. And they were very tasty. It was just full of sugar there, the only bad thing. They were very good. Right, so it's half a cup of sugar. Uh, what else do we want? Half a cup of sugar. What was it? 90 grams? 90 grams of butter. But, uh, 90 grams, about 100 is not so right there. Let's get together. I think the bread comes. It's one thing I remember doing with mum as a kid. It's just making these bread crumbs. Maybe I should have cubed that first. Okay. 
goes. Oh, I think I do a funny face on my knees. You have to kind of rub your fingers and thumbs together, which always seems to be making my jaw wiggle. Why? This is one of the things I remember when Baker and Mum was one of the things we would always do is making making pastry or making breadcrumbs, the butter and flour. But I needed to be able to. up and then I think we just add all the other ingredients together in my fingers. And I don't like things on my fingers either. It's like a pastry. This isn't what we wanted. Right. Half a cup of flour, 90 grams of butter. And pastry. See, it's just turned into like pastry. That's not what I wanted. Work it on it. I didn't read the reviews of this either, so it could be a really poor recipe. Maybe we just chuck in, let's chuck in all the other ingredients that we needed to do and see how it turns out. I'm going to put a half, uh, half cup of brown sugar. Let me actually check the recipe. In the medium saucepan, we'll uh, we'll be boiling. No, not yet. Um, to make the crumble, sift flour into a medium bowl, rubbing butter using fingertips, using a mixture that resembles breadcrumbs. Yeah. So let's maybe chuck in... Oh, when was I meant to go? Sugar goes in with the rhubarb, I remember that. Half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. sugar, quarter cup of coconut, one third, one quarter, quarter cup of coconut, oh great, that's going to be right.
and a couple of oats, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I like cinnamon, so I'll actually put a little bit more in than half a teaspoon. The boys enjoy it or not, Papa's doing the cooking, so more for good luck. Love me cinnamon. All right, so cinnamon is in. Uh, and then what does it say to do? Let me read that bit. In. All right, so that is now boiling, so we'll reduce that to a simmer. And put that lid on it for a couple of minutes. Using lid. So that's in there for two minutes, so uh, 15. I'm going to mix this together. Make a cookie dough. but it's not it's wet, I guess is the word I'm looking for as before. Moist, not as moist as before. Okay. All right. So one more minute with this apple stewing. I like the smell of apples too. Turn that on. All right, so we can just hang out now for two minutes while we're waiting for that to finish off. How much should we have to go in there for that? A cup of water, a third of a cup of sugar. Just for my third of a cup, I can use this one. Let's get that ready. Water with the rhubarb and apples. All right. Ready for the apples and the rhubarb. All right. Time isn't too long. Well, the boys will always be home soon. I can start my actual work day rather than. In the man of leisure. All right, now we can put this in. We'll return it to the boil. All the rhubarb. Spoon now and give it a stir. Goes. Oh yeah. Actually, Parker's present arrived as well today. We got like a DJ mixing machine, like a you know like the beatbox 
thing you see, and they do like the boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. And um, it's only like a little beta thing, but you can actually record like your own sounds, and it's got an input and an output, and it's got a bunch of tunes on it. A scratchy thing. So I think he's really going to enjoy that. That arrived today. What did it like? 10, 15 years ago. It's taken so long to get home from over east. Ridiculous. I swear I can order things from the States. Like from, the, from the UK and they can be here quicker than when I order stuff from over east. Crazy. So, oh, I need to put the sugar in. I forgot. You didn't remind me. Oh, it smells really good already. I don't have to invent like smell vision for Twitch. Okay, cool. I guess maybe we we'll want to smell some of the streamers when I've seen. I'll uh, chuck this back in the kitchen there. Yeah. So what I did make the other day, I made a really nice, um, my product's really nice, uh, dal. So the lentils and garam masala and curry paste, and it's really, really tasty. All my vegan friends will um, be happy with that. It's my one and only vegan dish I can manage to make. Oh, these can go back in there. In the winter coming, I'll be eating more oats as well. It's quick and simple. I've been doing 30 minutes, yeah, nearly 30 minutes, and then 30 minutes in the in the cooker. And you've got a, a delicious dessert, and that'll do us for five or six um, desserts for sure. It's not expensive either. I've got the expensive ones, the rhubarb. If they're now it's kind of stuff that I have in my cupboard anyway. So. Tell you what I did pick up, let me get it. I saw this on special um, Woolies today when I was picking up the cake. Pump resistor. Look at that. Sponge cake with like the fresh cream jam. It's like those little cream cakes you get, but bigger. Now, I probably won't eat that all to myself because the kids will want some. But I will eat it all to myself if they don't want any. So, love me a fresh cream cake. Some special as well, four bucks. Four bucks, not bad. So where are we at now? Probably one more minute. Let's, um, it's not boil. Oh, it's starting to boil. Maybe another minute or so on there. And we can, um, we can make it into the dish. Oven is... At the right temperature, beautiful. Oh, it's going to be quick wipe down. That's all I've been doing the past week, wiping down. And, well, I clean the house every week anyway, and maybe I'll bring you guys on a cleaning adventure with me one day. So it's not like the house is dirty, but it's just all that little bits and pieces. I guess it's good to have the rent inspection kind of forces you to do like a deep clean at least once every three or four months, doesn't it? In Germany, we didn't have rent inspections. You were just expected to hand the house back in the state that you got it, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess from a landlord perspective, there's, there's a lot of risk in that. 
in the way the market is here, they can be very choosy at the moment who they let rent their properties. Alrighty. Boiling, yes it is. Bring that down, touch. Just, uh, yeah, I get that. Rhubarb is starting to mush up nicely. Very happy. Drain off the water, so. Oh, gosh. I saw a highlight the other day as well, making mashed potato for the first time, but getting the boiling of the potato and put it into a sieve and then pushing it through the sieve, it makes like a puree. Best potato, mashed potato ever. A little bit of garlic, pepper. Oh, very good. 40 plus years, it took me to work that out. No one ever told me. I read it online. Amazing. And it's come right down. Give it just a minute to boil off a little bit and then we'll strain it out. We'll get into our dish. Hopefully that's going to be big enough. Yes, yeah, it should be. Do, do, do. I was looking through my cookbooks. I um, kind of set up my library sort of now. I've got my books out and into, um, bought a couple of really cheap bookshelves. And I've got you know some old school cooking books that I go to. But they didn't have an apple crumble recipe. They had apple pie and um, other apple things, but no apple crumble. So that's why I had to jump online and find a recipe. All right, I think there's enough because that rhubarb is disintegrating quickly. This side, yep, we're gonna need something to hold it with. String this off. Rhubarb is mushed up. Some beautiful juices. All that, all that rhubarb is mushed up already. That's what he was asking for. The mushed up. All right, we'll get a spoon and we will then get our crumble in there. So let me bring you in so you can see the, uh, what we're looking at. So here's the, uh, the mushed up rhubarb and stuff. Let me fall in over. And what we're going to do, I really struggle with these GoPros, so I'm just where it's looking. And then we're going to um, sprinkle this on. Enough actually. Make a bit more crumble. I don't know about you, but I like a really thick crumble. That's usually the best bit. Oh, I'll be okay. So this might spread out a little bit, I guess, because it's it's quite and peel together. Oh, we might be okay, I think. Yeah. I'm sure it will melt out a little bit as well. Alrighty, so there is one apple and rhubarb crumble. This will go in this will go into the oven now for just 30 minutes. Um, can't see me. Yes, this will go into the oven now for 30 minutes. Uh, bake off. Hopefully this will melt down. 
Um, I'll put a picture on my Instagram. Um, so if you check over there, you can see the finished result. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you've got any questions, want to reach out, just give me a ping. Uh, this is over my YouTube channel, Devo Dads, as well. Um, feel free to interact with me there. It's been fun cooking with you today. I'll see you next time. Ciao.